Howdy! This is Liz from Junk Journal Jam, and I've been playing with the sewing machine today with some junk journaling things. I've been watching a lot of texts go by and people talking about getting sewing machines to work on their junk journal tags, and I've mostly been doing zigzagging stitching with mine, and I decided to get out my machine and play with it and the decorative stitches a little bit, see what I could learn from it. I wanted to give myself something basic to work with. This is just white 60 pound cardstock with a little bit of texture on it. I'd recently acquired a book from a thrift store that's a reference guide to plants and it had a lot of plant images that were all the same size. So I decoupaged those down on some little cards, set those aside to dry and use some of the leftover cardstock to practice some stitches. And here's what these look like. Um, I was mostly interested in the decorative stitches, but one of the things that became apparent is that not all of the stitches that you use to sew fabric really are appropriate for sewing paper. Um, anything that forms an outline that is solid um, with thread, um, like this heart, this started to get bogged down in the machine because it essentially it was cutting the edge of the heart through the paper. And if you'll see this hole in the paper, this piece of paper was part of a decorative stitch that just perforated the paper, went all the way through, got sucked down into the feed dogs, and that was a nightmare to get out. So I gave up on that stitch. I quickly zeroed in on the little flowers, uh, these, which if you stretch them out to their maximum length, don't bind up quite that way. The little ivy leaves. I just didn't like this one. This is my usual zigzag. These were decorative stitches that you could tell were going south right away. So, when my cards were dry, I started pulling them out. and I, I started with my usual zigzag stitch around the image, and I realized I didn't I didn't like that as much because if you look at the back, you'll see when you turn the corners, you end up with these odd shapes. And I just wasn't very excited about those, but I really did like the flowers. So I kept plugging away at it. I also had a hard time getting the zigzag to match up uh, to the edge of the image, but I really liked this one. Oh, here's another one where I was having a hard time with that. It's another one. Just not liking those. So I tried a new stitch which looks more like an EKG than anything else, but I realized that most of these holes that the stitch was making were in a straight line and I was afraid I was going to perforate it right around the square. And of course I did have a few problems with the feed dogs. Mostly I didn't have a problem sewing in the cardstock. I found another stitch on the machine that I quite liked, which is this one. A lot of old fashioned quilting is done with this stitch where it's it's anchored um, and there's like a straight stitch along the edge here and this is what happens when you get all excited about flowers and you stitch over the edge but this one didn't seem to weaken the paper too much and it looked good I quite liked that so I started doing that one with some flowers and I like those and then I tried it with the ivy and I like those I'm not quite sure what to do about the end. I wasn't coordinated enough to go back and secure those stitches. And I didn't like all the long threads. My table is completely covered in green threads at the moment. This one is probably my favorite. I really like this stitch. Um, so if you're looking at buying a sewing machine, a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, get good quality thread. This thread is a quilting thread that is close to 20 years old. It's called Guterman. Uh, it's more expensive, but it's a big spool, and I didn't have any problems with the thread breaking. Um, I did have a few problems occasionally with the feed dog. Um, as I said, 60 pound paper, I would tell you what kind of needle it was that I was using. It was nothing special, it was what was in the machine. Unfortunately, after I finished these, I decided to go ahead and uh, get some other sewing out and managed to break all of my needles trying to sew the uh, new hook and loop tags onto my bras. Sewing metal is a lot harder than sewing paper. Paper's easy. Give it a try. Um, 
But really, if you're going to buy a sewing machine, do some evaluation on the usability of the stitches on paper, because not all of them are suitable to paper. Anyway, I had a great time playing with these. I hope you guys enjoy playing with your sewing machines and your junk journal papers too. Thanks so much. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out my blog, junkjournaljam.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.